Okay, so hello once again. So, uh, continuation of our for loop, for looping statement using our for, and then this time, except for the additional expression, okay, i-continue natin. Uh, paano kong magdadagdag ako ng additional expression or like for example, uh, gusto kong itutal yung result or, or, or overall result ng looping statement natin or meron siyang nag escape ng reading using our arithmetic expression. So, paano siyang gawin? Okay? So, by using our single looping statement, especially by using our for loop, madid lang siyang gawin. For example, you can say int okay? uh, int uh, b is equal to uh, okay, 2. And now, ang gagawin natin, change natin, b and ito ay b Pag once na pataas kasi yung value, so that is by using our increment. So, uh, ang mangyari ngayon, so ang counting niya, since ito ang A, ito yung value ng B, ang first value is A and then dash 2, A dash 3. Okay, that's the expected output. So, kung nyaran natin yung program, papansin nyo po, 1, 2, and then next is 2. Itong 1, 2, 3 hanggang 10, ito yung value ni letter A. And then, yung sa kabila naman, ito yung value ni letter B. So, kung tatanggalan natin siya ng print LN, para mas maintindihan siya, mag display yung output niya na naka-horizontal siya. Ito yung expected output. 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4. Why? Because, first of all, the value of our A is equal to 1. 1 is less than 10. True. 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Because we are using this kind of expression. Increment. So, before it looks number 2, display yung statement. So, what is the value of A? 1. Kasi 1 kanina ay nag-true yung condition. So, 1 dash and then followed by B. So, the first value of B is equal to 2. That's the reason why the expected output is equal to 1 dash 2. And then, next is meron siya dito B plus plus. What's the value of B? 2. So, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Then, next loop natin, ang value ng A kanina is equal to 1. Ay, is equal to 2. Now, this time, 2 is also less than, check natin yung condition, 2 uh, ang value ng A ngayon is equal to 2 and then 2 is less than 10, correct? 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 before it loops the number 3 display statement. So, ito yung statement niya. A is equal to 2. What is the expected value of B kanina? Ito po ang value niya kanina ng plus 1 siya is equal to 3. So, expected output is now equal to 2 and 3. Okay? So, 3, ang value ng B plus, plus 1 magiging 4 na siya. Okay? Expected output next nun is 3, 4. Okay, ito pong expected output. Para hindi kayo maligaw, taasan ko yung value ni B. Gagawin ko siyang 4. Okay? So, i-run natin. So, expected output is 1 and 4, 2 and 5, plus 1, plus 1. Or, you can change the expression. Hindi lang siya always ganyan. For example, we are using the arithmetic expression. B plus equal to 3. What happened? So, every time na mag-look mag siya or mag-execute mag, uh, mag siya ng second hanggang pataas ng looping statement, nagpa-plus 3 to si B. Pero si A natin na given dito sa main loop natin, sa looping statement, plus 1 lang siya because of this expression. Let us try. Okay, the expected output is 1, 4, and then 2, 7. Why? Because the first value of B is equal to 4. So A is equal to 1. 1 is less than 10 through 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. Before I loop si number 2, re uh, read this statement. So A is equal to 1 and B is equal to 4. And then execute the Arithmetic expression. So this time, this is now equal to 4. 4 plus 3, okay, because the equivalent kasi nito is equal to B, is equal to B plus 3. Yan yung equivalent niya. Okay? So pag nilagay natin sa expression, ganito yung pag, uh, pag gamit. So 4 plus 3 is equal to 7. So second loop, ang value of A is equal to 2. Okay? 2 is less than 10, correct? And 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. And then before it loops in number 3, Execute the statement. So, A is equal to 2. And what's the value of B kanina? So, 7. So, 7 yung expected output. Kaya 2 and 7. So, kung nilalagyan siya ng print LN, mag display yung expected output next line. Okay? So, run natin. Okay? So, 1, 4, 2, 7. Okay? Because next line, display this statement at the next line. Yan. So, it is possible to count the result. Yes, that is also possible to count kung ilang beses nag-loop or kung gusto natin siya itutal yung um, value ng looping natin. So, for example, gusto natin siyang i-read yung count natin. Okay? So, pwede po yan. Okay, paano siya? Lalagay po natin sa labas. 
So, ibig sabihin, pagkatapos ng loop na to, okay, saka siya i-execute niya after ng for loop natin. System.out.print. Okay. So, ang gagawin ko, babasahin ko si A. Plus A. Ayan. So, what is the value of A? Sa case na to, nasa labas siya ng loop. Okay? So, execute lang to once na nag-false na yung condition dito before niya to execute. So, syempre, kung bibilangin niya A uh, plus plus plus, ang last value nito is equal to 10. So, ang total, ang magiging total niya is equal to 10. So, that's the expected output. Lagyan natin siya ng print ln para mag-next time siya. Okay. Yan, 11. Okay? So, since the last number is equal, yung in-execute niya is equal to 10. So, 10 plus 1, ang mangyayari sa kanya is equal to... Okay, so para maging tama, 11 ang output. So, suppose 3 is 10. So, try to add 0 here. Okay, nag-11 siya. First of all, ilitin ko because of that 1 nag-start yung uh, number. So, ang result is 1. So, next is 1 plus uh, 2 plus 1 sa 11. So, kung gusto mo mag-10, ito po yun. Gamitin 0. So, siyempre, yung expected output yung mag-account din siya from 0. Okay? So, 11 lahat from 0. Yan. Okay. So, um, pabalik natin kanina. Pagkalin natin to At the same time, 1 to. 1 to 10. Pag ganyan po, ang looping statement 10. 10 times. 10 times din siya nag-loop. Kaya binilang niya kung ilan lahat. Ilang beses siya nag-loop? 10 times. Okay? So, pwede ko yun itutal lahat ng nilook niya. Anong gagawin ko? Okay? So, simple lang. Magkagawa ako ng another expression. A. Okay? So, pwede tayo mag-declare dito another. So, for example, int C is equal to 0. So, C, A plus equal to A. So, kung ano man yung value niya, that's the value of letter C. Okay? So, kung ano man expected value niya na 1, tapos next loop niya, 1 pa rin yung C, 2 na. So, kung ipang magpa plus plus siya. So, babasahin natin yung C. Yan. Run file. Okay. The result is 45. Okay. So, Ang first loop niya kasi, kung titignan natin, ang first loop niya, so since 1 to 10 yun, ang value ng C, C is equal to first, is equal to uh, 0. Ayan, 0 ang C. And then after that, nag-loop si A. What is the value of A? 1. So, since na C, wala mo naman siyang value, is ang C natin kanina is equal to 0 pa lang. So, mangyayari sa kanya, um, 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. Yan. So, ang next value natin, ang C natin ngayon ay equal to, ang C natin ngayon is equal to 1. So, nag-loop siya. Ang next na value ng, ng, ng A natin is equal to 2. Okay? So, next value nun is 2. So, ang gagawin niya, ang 1 kanina, ito yun, plus 2. So, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3. So, the next value of, of C is equal to 3. Okay? So, next loop niya is equal to 3. So, A is equal to 3. Pangatlong looping. So, what is the value of C? 3. And then, what is the value of next loop? 3. So, 3 plus 3, plus 3 is equal to 9. So, what is the value of C? 9. Okay? Pangat, pangapat na looping niya, value is of A is equal to 4. And C kanina is 9. So, 9 plus 4. So, 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. Kaya po, uh, ang naging total sa expected result niya is equal to 45. So, total is equal to 45. Tinutal ko po kung um, uh, lahat ng value na nilulok niya. So, nag-declare lang po ako ng letter C. Ayan. So, kung gusto mo isam. Okay? What about gusto ko mag- alternate yung value ng expression. Very simple. Like for example, hindi ako gagamit ng uh, increment dito. Ang gagamitin ko ay, okay, 
ang gagamitin ko dito ay plus or balik try natin. We can say okay, increment lang muna. Plus equal to 3. Okay? So 1 yung expected output natin. Palitan natin siya, gawin natin siyang oh, sige, 1 lang muna. Then after that, um ang B natin is also equal to 5. Ayan. So, plus 2. Ayan. Siyempre, arrangement ng output natin, ang result mo na ni A yung lalabas. So, expected output, first value is 1. And second value, di ba, sabi ko, ang unang-unang expected result is the value of our initialization. So, it means A is equal to 1. And B is equal to 5. So, expected natin 1 and 5. So, okay? Before niya execute. Pangalawang looping to execute yung result ni B plus 2. So, pag pangalawang loop niya, A is equal to 2. Uh, ay, sorry. A plus 3. So, 1. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4. So, next looping niya yung value ni A natin is equal to 4. So, A is equal to 4. And then, ito naman, value si B, 5. 5 kanina. 5 plus 2 is equal to 7. So, 4 and 7 expected output. So, let us run. 1, 5, 4, and 7, 7, and 9. Tumigil sa, sa dito sa 7, since kasi wala tayong equal. Kaya ang nangyari, uh, 7 plus 3 is equal to 10. And 10 is not less than 10 but equal. Kung nilagyan natin ng equal hanggang 10 yan, magdadagdag siya ng isang expected output pa last is equal to 10. So, 10 and 11. Bakit kaya naging 11? So, second loop kanina, 4, 7, because... Plus 2. So, 7 plus 2 is equal to 9. 7, 9 plus 2 is equal to 11. Okay? nag i po yung expected output. Okay, balik na rin naman natin by using decrement. For example, 10 and this one, syempre, balik na rin ng condition, greater than, gawin natin itong 1. Syempre, gagamit po tayo ng minus. Okay? Pag once na mataas ang value ng initialization, mababa yung value ng condition, we need to use uh, minus or decrement expression. Okay, so, for example, A is equal to 2. Uh, ang B naman natin, plus dito, gawin natin siyang 5. So, pwede natin balik na rin yung reading ng output. Ito ay B, ito ay C. Okay, depende kung nga, nga po yan sa, sa target problem solving. So, pag binigyan kayo ng, ng arrangement, ng expected output, you need to think about kung paano siya nagre-read. Kasi pag single loop lang naman yan, so commonly, pag nag-alternate yan, yung second or second or possible yung first, Yan yung main loop or pwedeng gawin yung loop is yung additional expression. Okay? Depende sa inyo. Kasi the most important part is uh, kung ano yung requested uh, statement na gagamitin at the same time, same yung output. Okay? Na, na display mo siya using that particular uh, looping statement. Hindi ko masabi na your, your answer is wrong because nakapagsidari ka ng the same output. Possible iba-iba lang yung uh, algorithm na ginamit mo to generate your expected output. If, like for example, if you want to use um, uh, decrement, if you want to use uh, increment, if you want to use arithmetic expression, as long as the target output na meet natin. Yan lang yaman yun. So, B plus 5. Okay. So, iran natin. Try natin. Okay. So, nakalagay dito 10. Okay. Bakit 0, 0? Okay. Tingnan natin. Ayan. So, B is equal to 5. Tingnan natin kung bakit siya nag-zero. Ayan. So, um, 10 is greater than to 1. True. So, 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. So, display the value of our um, expression. So, supposed to be this one is equal to the value of B is equal to 5. And, uh, ayan. So, ang value ng C natin, 0. Okay? So, check natin ulit. So, ito kasi 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Ito yung value ni B. Bakit 0 si C? Yan, tingnan natin. So, A minus equal to 2. Ayan. So, A is equal to 10. And 10 is greater than or equal to 1, 2. And, 10 minus 2 is equal to 8. I see. Akong mali. C pa lang nilagay ko dito. A dapat. Okay? Ayan. 10, 8, 6, 4, 2. Kasi minus 2, minus 2. Ito yung A, ito yung B. Okay? So, C yung nilagay ko ya mali. 
So, ayan. Um, pwedeng ganong arrangement. Pag kinanggalan ko yan, print lang, mag-display yung output niya horizontally. Ayan. So, medyo mahirap siyang i-detect. Kaya nga, try to check. Possible, 5, 10. Alternate lagi naman yan. Kasi single loop siya. Pwedeng, pwedeng ito ay gawin yung main loop. I'm talking this one. Pwedeng itong next value nyo is your additional expression. So, nakadepende. Okay? So, depende sa arrangement. Okay. Paano naman kanina? Paano yun, sir? It is possible character. Pinakita ko na sa inyo kanina. Pwede siya i-mix yung number at the same time character. Like I said, pwedeng ganun. Okay? At the same time, pwede po itong palitan ng character. Gusto kong ayaw kong i-display yung looping nito at gusto kong i-display yung character. It is also possible. Okay? For example, dito ayaw i-display si A. Dapat ang gusto kong mangyari dito ay dash X. X lahat or special symbol, asterisk na lang. Pag-run natin ng, ng file, ayan, o 5, asterisk, asterisk. O, lagyan natin ng LN para mas maintindihan. O, ayan. ba? So, yung special symbol naman, always yan pag once sa reading output na sa formatting string and alter, uh, at our, uh, we can say, uh, literal string. Okay? Pag argument, syempre, you need to use concatenator, which is plus. Hoping na naintindihan nyo siya. Kahit pa yan galing sa, sa keyboard, ang kailangan nyo lang is to understand the given uh, output or kung ano yung expected arrangement na binibigay sa inyo. So, saka nyo siya ititink at i-analyze kung ano yung appropriate algorithm and appropriate syntax intended for the given problem. So, analyze first before mag-program. Okay lang mag-testing so that you can evaluate if tama yung algorithm sa mind nyo. Else, okay, so don't give up. Just try and understand the algorithm behind the given problem. Okay? I hope na naintindihan nyo siya. And then, thanks for watching. I hope, I hope na nakakulong ko sa inyo sa pag-solve ng binigay kong problem solving. Okay? Thanks. Once again, thank you.